Hey people, when you are part of a specific culture, like you're very much into a certain sport or RC planes or skateboarding like I am, you know that every group has their own speak, their own terminology. And by the same token, in drumming and in music generally, we have a lot of very specific terms. And it's not only cool to know about those terms and expressions because you feel really as an insider of the group. I always tell my students, please talk to me in drum speak. But also it's very important to clearly communicate because there is a reason we have those expressions and terms because we can just reduce the amount of words uttered if we have a very specific term. I don't need a lot of talking when I can just say please accent the backbeat a little bit more. And if both parties know what that means, there's nothing more to be said. And I want to explain one concept today that is a perfect example for that. If you know what this, mean, what, what this means, it can make life a little bit more easy for you because on the one hand it is a very important concept to know about and on the other hand if you know what this means you can immediately implement what another person is telling you if he or she is using this expression and the, today's expression is four on the floor. The roots of modern drum set playing lie in the jazz music, in especially swing music of the early and mid 20th century in the US. And there, of course, most of the music was not yet amplified, not live on concerts. And the concerts were very often given for dancers because swing was dance music. And if you have a big dance hall of people and no amplification, you need to convey a clear rhythm. You need to clearly articulate through your instrument where the beat is. And usually the drums and the double bass were playing the beat, the pulse on which the dancers would dance. And the drums and the uh, double bass, the upright bass, needed to synchronize in the best possible way. So the low frequencies, which by the way were also transmitted through the floor, could reach also the dancers way back in the dance hall. And this is why usually the drums played all the quarter notes, all the beats on the bass drum together with the upright bass. And there you have it usually 4-4 four, four time, the four quarter notes on the lowest drum that was standing on the floor and transmitting the low frequencies through the floor. That's four on the floor. If you have played a little bit of swing, jazz music, you definitely know this. This is just a staple of jazz music. Here's a quick example how this could sound in a swing feel. But it's also very prevalent in rock music. I like to use this a lot just um, at the culmination of a song. When I reach the end of a song and I want just a pinch more, just more energy, I add the four on the floor, add the bass drum also to the back, to the two and four. What's nice about this is the bass drum can hide behind the snare drum. So you won't even notice it's there if you play precisely, but you can feel it. You just feel this ongoing pumping like a train, just going forward, pushing forward. So this pushing forward I really like about four on the floor 
in rock drumming. If you listen to the records I played on uh, in rock music, mostly with the band Ohrenfeind, you can definitely hear this. I've used this a lot. Here just a quick example, I will switch back and forth so you can hear the difference. But you can also put an emphasis on this. When you have a song that has high energy and you want to keep the energy going, you play four on the floor all the way through, even if there are breaks, fill-ins, stops and so on. You just keep it going. So you have this, you have this narrative, you have this structure of the song, just this pumping, this heartbeat of the song just goes the whole way through. This keeps the energy high while the song still has its ups and downs, its breaks and different parts. Here again another example how that could sound. So there you have it, a very interesting and very important concept. Four on the floor. Just play all the quarter notes on the bass drum, whatever you play with your hands. Very important basic in jazz music, an absolute staple of swing drumming, but also a very interesting tool to use in rock music and in other styles. And it's a very elegant way to increase the drive, the energy of a song, while at the same time not putting too much emphasis on it. But you also have the option to do the opposite, to put a lot of emphasis on it when you play four on the floor, even if there are breaks, stops, other things happening in the music or the hands stop playing altogether. Play around with this concept, you will probably notice it when you listen to music from now on, I hope so. Once again, if you have more terms, expressions, phrases you don't understand yet, you want me to explain to you, please write them in the comments below. If you want to learn more about drumming, personal growth through learning an instrument and effective practicing, you should definitely subscribe because that's what my channel is all about. Hope to see you in the next video every Thursday. Until then, take care and bye bye.